pay your creative dues. Ethan Van Skyver drops a very harsh, but also very motivational tweet today. And I thought this was absolutely epic. As soon as I saw it, I knew this was what I was going to do a video on. And the reason that I'm gonna do a video on is because I feel that this gets deep down into the principle of creativity and drive. And ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like what I talk about here, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. So ladies and gentlemen, as I do every day, and as a lot of YouTubers do every day, I was uh, checking out to see what was going on on Twitter and seeing the hot takes or not hot takes or the dumb takes or <sighs> questioning whether or not I should say something dumb. And I came across this and I absolutely loved it. So in a quote tweet, Ethan Van Skyver drops some knowledge, but the tweet that he was quoting was something that was highly demotivational trying to almost downplay people, talk down to them, tell people that they weren't good enough. And Ethan's take was fire, I thought. Harsh, but motivating. So let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Over here, you guys will see the tweets. And it's this guy, Donald DeLay, however you say that name. He says, hot take, if you can't afford to pay for a 48 page OGN to be produced or you don't have the audience to support that on crowdfunding, then maybe you shouldn't be making comics until you do. Full stop. Most people in the greatest ventures of their lives, men that have gone from rags to riches, didn't follow this advice. In fact, had they followed this advice, they would have not gone from rags to riches. They would have failed epically. They would have never taken that first step, right? So let's pull up Ethan's tweet. He says, better take. Make comics because you have to. You cannot, <clears throat> you can't not make comics. Find a way to get them published. Either work for someone else or make the best deal possible with an indie publisher to publish your stuff. You ain't getting much dollars this way, but it's okay for now. Just get your comics out there. Use this time to develop and improve. Find out if people like your work and build an audience and customer base. There's no shortcut to this. Pay your creative dues. That right there cuts to the heart of this. That right there, the way that I read it was, take that first step. The other guy says, no, 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 no. If you don't have money, you don't get to take a step. You shouldn't take a step. Why would your poor broke ass take a step? And Ethan came out and said, no, that's not the way to think about this. Some of the greatest things that we have ever seen were because people took that chance. At all odds, when somebody told them not to do the thing that they were wanting to do, that they would just fail, or that's not the way that they should do it, or you should really reconsider, and they went ahead anyway. Some of my favorite comedians have told stories like that. Some of my favorite YouTubers have said they took that leap. Hell, writers out there, I'm sure you guys have your favorites. Directors out there, I'm sure you all have these people in your mind. Those steps that they take when they say you can't do it. My favorite in history is Eddie Rickenbacker. Look him up, that's your, that's your homework, children. Look up Eddie Rickenbacker. He defines this to a T. His motivation in life took him places. Look at what Ethan is saying here. You do have to pay your creative dues. Something that I had mentioned in a live stream that I did recently, actually with Eric July, we talked about a lot of people may not want to do this, pay your creative dues and get something to turn into profitable, to turn into something you can live on and take 10 years to do it. And that's what Ethan is saying here. Ultimately, guys, this is the message that needs to be pushed. Hard work, creativity, nose to the grindstone, build your audience, find that audience, find how, where to go, the podcasts you should be on, the YouTube shows that you should be, you know, engaging with, the communities out there that can absolutely help you. Don't worry about not having the money, like Donald DeLay says, because being a creative isn't a rich man's game. In fact, historically, 
a lot of creatives were pretty poor, but they told stories that outlasted those who told them not to do it. So the message of the day is take that first step, tell that story, pay your creative dues and make something that will outlast you and it will outlast all of the people who are telling you not to. That doesn't mean that reality doesn't exist. Doesn't mean everybody is going to make it. But you will never know unless you take that first step. Don't let money be that factor. Figure it out. Figure out other ways. You can do it. You can create. You can pay your dues. And to those of you out there, I hope all of you push for it. And I'm excited to see those who can rise to that challenge and tell stories that will live on long after we're here. So ladies and gentlemen, get motivated. And thank you so much for being here. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.